channel. Today I'm going to do a makeup routine that I usually do daily. And um, yeah, so I'll show you all the steps I take and the products that I use and what kind of face I end up with. Well anyways, let's get on to the video. Like, subscribe, and let's do it. Okay, so first, the primer I use is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I really like it, and it smells like coconut. So, we're gonna use it. Um, I also like to use... The photo finish primer, I like that one as well. So let's blend this in. Yeah, and it smells really good. So then, the next thing that I will do is foundation. I use the Revlon Colorstay one, and in the shade Medium Beige. Yeah, so, uh, let's put this on. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. Get my beauty blender, that's really dirty, ignore it. And then I'm just going to shoot. Get this all over my face. Sorry if I'm like looking to the side, there's a mirror right here, so I'm just looking at that. I know a lot of people use like um, a brush to blow on foundation, but I don't like that because you usually like, let's say this one I have over here, you usually like see the bristles of it on like your face and I don't like that. So I just use a beauty blender, but I used to use a brush. Just gonna put this all over my face. If you hear something in the background, it's my sister, so just ignore it. So I'm going to finish putting on my foundation and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done with my foundation. I mean, it looks okay, but... Alright, whatever, so... The next thing that I do is concealer, <laughs> and I do the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Yeah. I'm in, I'm in the shade Light Beige. That's the shade I have. So, let's put it under the eyes. Do like a triangle. <laughs> then let's um, 
with the cult. Let's do a long chain. Let's do like a little star thing right there. Then what else I do is I just put it on like my problem areas. Like I have like two little things right here. I think they're pimples. And I just put them there and then I'm gonna freaking blend it. Alright, let's do it. I might have put too much, but it like lightens your face. So and then we blend it in. Find my nose. Ew, I hate those ugly faces that I make. And let's use the this part and blend the eye. Concealer. Sorry, I was looking at the mirror. Okay, so once that's blended, let's do the other one. And you have to like go like really fast and blend everything really quick because it um if you wait like too long to blend it it like it's hard to blend i don't know how i like to explain it but yeah so you have to blend everything really quick or else it'll it won't blend nice and smooth like it should. Ready? There we go. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, um, where's my setting powder? Oh, I thought I had it here, but, all right, so, I usually, hold on, let me go find it, all right, so, I don't know where my Kylie Cosmetics setting powder went. So I'm just gonna have, I have this one. It's the All Nighter Waterproof Setting Spray. It's by Urban Decay, Urban Decay. So I'm just gonna use this one and use my beauty blender and just put it everywhere. And this is supposed to mattify your skin. So, if you have like really oily skin, then I would suggest this one. This is my first time using this actually. But I have dry skin, so it's fine. Wow, I really like this one. Just gonna blend it all over the face. Now that I used the beauty blender, I actually wanted to get a brush 
and I'm just gonna grab this and just put this everywhere because I'm sure the beauty blender got it but just like an extra layer just to make sure because Wow, I really like this. It just like sets in and mattifies all your makeup. So, it's just, it's a good one, I really like it. But I don't know where my Kylie one went, I have to find it. Cause that one was like literally my favorite. Okay. The All Nighter Urban Decay setting setting powder. I really like it. And this is the first time I used it and I think it's good. So the next thing I want to use is my contour. So I have the Hula Benefit one. And I, I mean, I like it, but I normally use this, so the benefit one, and then I also have, where is it, I use this one too, the Morphe one, all these right here are, um, bronzers and the highlighters, so I normally use the enemy one. Where is it? Right there. <laughs> no worries, this one. Sorry. So I use this one. And I'll just do that. But normally, I'll use this one. So today we're going to use this one, but I also have the Morphe highlighting and contour palette. But I like this one. So we're going to use this one. Yeah. So we're just going to use this brush that I have. I don't know how I got it, but so we're just going to use this. And we're just going to It's like a very um A very light bronzer so you can like build it if you want to make it like more intense but I don't really like my bronzer that intense so I'm not gonna do that just a little bit works see if you want some here And then another thing I like to do, put it on my forehead to have some F. Put it on this side right here. And yeah, that's contour. You have a little definition to your face. I'm going to go blend this in a little bit more and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I put, I have contour on. So the next step that I'm going to use is blush. And I have the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush from Tarte. And the shade is Blissful. Now I really like this. Um... Sometimes you have to like really, really, really build it to get like a really nice blush. So sometimes I don't like that. So what I'll do, I also have the Morphe palette in the blushes. So I normally use this, but if I don't like want to use this today, then I'll use the Tarte one. So I'm going to use the Morphe today. So where's my brush right here? And the one that I usually go into is like a nude, it's like more nude than pink, but there's some like pink tints. And um, it has a little bit of a shimmer to it, so I like that. 
the one that I use right here is called Driven. And I like this one. Yeah, so I'm going to go in with this and then I'll do the blush. So how's everybody doing with this little quarantine thing that we have going on? Ugh, I hate it. I'm going insane and staying in the house. I just don't like that. So let's put it on the cheeks. Oh my god, I hate the face expressions that I use. And you see, you don't really see it that much, you can like build it. So I'm going to go and get more from this palette. And I'm going to dig in more and just put there. There we go. Now we got some color going on there. Like. There's a bit shimmer to it, but it's more like a nude than like a pinkish blush. So, I mean, if you like that, then you would like this palette. Like these over here. Hold on. These over here are like more of the pinks right here. And then these are like the nudes. So if you like like really like hot pink um, blushes, then you'll like this palette. But it also has its news too, and this is the side I'm using because I don't really want I don't want to look like a clown, and, yeah. So, but on like a day where I really like want to get dressed and get full glam and do all that, then I'll use like the really hot pink one. But if I'm just like normally day like around the house doing chores and stuff and um, going out and doing normal stuff, then I will use the nude-ish one. <laughs> yeah, I really like this brush. And sometimes, I don't know if people like this, but sometimes I'll do a little bit on the nose, but only a little bit, because if you do more than you should, it looks like you're sick, so. Just a little bit, and that'll do. It also has kind of like a shimmer to it, you can see. Oh, I really like that. Okay. Also, the primer. So, another primer that I like to use is the Pour, the Benefit Pour one. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it really... If I don't use the, where is it at? If I don't use the Too Faced Hangover one, then I like to use the poor one. Like if I'm having a really bad day, like my skin is off and all that, then I'll use the poor one. But if it's just regular, I don't have any like blemishes, my pores aren't that bad, then I'll use this. And I really like this one too, it's my favorite. Okay, so I just did blush, and now we're gonna do highlight. So, I used the Becca highlight in the shade Prismatic Amethyst. So, what sucks is it shattered, but the nice thing that I like about this is like it has like a more I don't want to say holographic, but like a purplish, like, you'll see it when I put it on. And I really like it, actually. I really do. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on really quick. Put it on right here. Like, you can already see it. It's like a purple-ish kind of thing. Wow, I like that. Gives you a nice shimmer. It's good. Mm. 
I like highlighter a lot, so I probably do a lot more than I should, but if I'm okay with it, then it doesn't really matter. Put some on the tip of my nose. Put some on the bridge of my nose. Another thing I like to do, like if I'm having a shirt, I'll put it on like my collarbones. I really like this highlighter, but if I don't want to use this highlighter, where is it? I really like this one. It's Cosmic and Supernova. I dip in these two, and I dip in both of them, and it makes a really nice highlight. Like, okay, so it's Cosmic. Let's swatch it. See, that's really nice and I like that. Okay, then let's dip in Supernova. Wow, it's very like a little chunky-ish, but it's, I like it, so. The other ones, there's a lit one and it's like a gold one. Wow, I like that. There's it right there, it's like a goldish one. And then there's one more and it's like a white one. Oh, that's this one right pretty. It's Stardust. Wow, it's like a purple pearl white highlighter. So yeah, those all typically dip in. Then after all that's done, <sighs> I light. Then I will go with Um, my brows. The the brow pencil I use is the precisely my brow pencil 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 <laughs> pencil by um, Benefit, and I like it because it's very it has like a small like a small tip, so I like that, and then it has the spoolie to like really put it in the brows so I really like that so I use this one I only um, literally started doing my brows like a couple months ago because I didn't really do them but we're just gonna do hair like strokes and I like this one because it it literally like when you do it looks like you have like hairs it looks like you have little hairs when you do it so I really like it shape it All right so I'm gonna do my brows really quick off camera and then I'll come back right, so I did my brows I don't really do too much to them because I don't know my eyebrows are like really like bushy so I just like color them in and like slightly shape it and then that's it. I won't really go full in. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, what's it called? <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow. And I use this palette, the, the Ice Fantasy one by Morphe. I just bought this one, I really like it. And, um, yeah. If I don't use this one, let me grab it. I'll either use Modern Renaissance, like that one. And then I have this one. You can see I use the rose pink in this one. Yeah, so, I mean, it just depends on what I want to do. I also have the Huda Beauty one. The I forgot the name of it. 
the nude one. Yeah, so I have that one also I like to use. But today I'm gonna use the Ice Fantasy one, so. Sorry, I keep freaking doing that with my nose. I have, like, my nose is all stuffy and stuff. So, you can tell I like this palette a lot. So, the I don't know what the shades are because the paper that it come on top of, I threw it away. So, I don't know the shades, but normally I'll use, like, this shade, this pink one right here. Like in my, in like my crease, and then on my lid, hold on, and then on my lid, I'll use this like shimmery chrome pinkish one, and it's really pretty. So that's what I'm going to do, and let's do it. So I have this Anastasia brush that came in with those palettes that I just like to use. So I'm going to dip in this pink right here. It has a lot of fallout, but it's okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my crease. I'm definitely not putting in my crease, but um, it's like above the crease right here. So, let's do that. So I need to dip in more from the palette. So let's go a little bit more. Let's get it like right there. So it's like, kind of like like that, and then I'll blend it in like once I put like the top coat thing on. So then I'm going to get this like chrome pink shade right here. And usually what I like to do is before I put like on any shimmery shadowish, I'm gonna spray my brush with setting spray and I use the Tarte setting spray. Normally I don't use this one. I use the two, no, the Too Faced one. Yeah, the Too Faced one, yeah. And um, I like this one, but I also have this one. So I'm going to use the Tarte one for right now. And I'm going to spray it with setting spray. And then it gives it more like a dramatic look, so I usually like doing that. Okay, I'm going with it, the shadow, the shimmery. Wow, see that's really intense. Yeah, so I like that. So then I'm just going to go on the top of my lid right here. Oh, God. So I'm just going to go on the top of my lid right here and let me do it really quick. And then I'm going to slowly, like, bring it up. So, like, it, like, mixes with the pink shadow. Wow. That's really intense. Okay.
Yeah, I need to blend it, but... See, now I just gotta like blend it in. But this side. I usually do a better job out of it, but today I'm not really doing anything, so it's just like... See? So, it's like a pretty shimmery, hot pinkish kind of eye look. So I'm going to do the other one off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did the eyeshadow. I'm done with the eyeshadow look. Again, I used the ice eyeshadow. Well. So then the next thing I will do is mascara. Sorry, I'm playing <laughs> for a minute. So then I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex one. This one, I, it was in like their fruity one, their, their special edition one, but this one, it's just normally like the better than sex one, yeah, so, yeah, then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mascara, apply mascara like usually like that so what I'll do is I'll get a mirror and I'll do my eyes like this and I'll just do that Okay, so then I'm going to do the bottom lash line. Okay, let me do the other eye. Oops. See, like I got it right here. Oops, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, a tip for anyone, if you get mascara anywhere, wait for it to dry and then like get like a spoolie and then it'll go off easily with no smudging, no messing up your makeup. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, 
so let me touch up. Let me touch up the eyeliner really quick. Alrighty. And then next thing I'm gonna do this. It's like a velvet lip, matte lip, matte liquid lipstick. And it, I got it from Charlotte Russe, which it's the store is not here anymore, but so then I'm just gonna put it on my lips. I really like it and it matches my eye look. It's like a velvet rose gold kinda and it matches my that. So let's put this on. Hold on, I need the mirror. Can't really see right. Bottom lip done. So then, the last thing I do to set in all of my makeup, this is the Tarte Stay Spray Setting Spray. I showed you this before, but um, so I'm going to spread this all over my face. And that'll be the end of the look. And then I'll take a picture with it on. And then I'll put it on the screen right here. So. Setting spray. Wow, it smells really good. And then I'll take a beauty blender. Set in all the makeup we have oh, we forgot to take that off we got a spoolie brush it has dried so hold on let me do this really quick Ready? There we go. And this is the look. So this is the look. Yeah. So this is the look. I'll put a picture of it here. And um, that's it, guys. This is the daily routine of makeup I put on and I'll put I'll put up all the pro the products I use up here like all that and um that's really it. Follow my Snapchat and my Instagram. And um yeah guys, I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.